Now to the race for Santa Barbara City Council. Voters on the west side will choose between three candidates. The race for District 3 pits the incumbent against a community activist and a new face in city politics. Elise Martinez followed all three women on the campaign trail. This is Kathy Murillo. I serve on the Santa Barbara City Council and I'm up for re-election. Can we win a lot of people over for Team Sharon? Yes, yes we can. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Are you ready to vote yet? Candidates make the final push to reach West Side Santa Barbara voters before Election Day. District 3 voters are more than 50% Latino. The candidates running all agree that parking congestion, illegal dumping, and pedestrian safety concerns are important to this community. I brought bus service, preschool money, uh, pedestrian safety measures, better crosswalks, better lighting. It's fair for people to ask, what have you done for the West Side? And I'm glad I have a record to show. Former journalist and current council member Kathy Murillo was a big part of revitalizing the West Side Neighborhood Association. She's the only incumbent running this November. If re-elected, Murillo says she'll continue to look out for her district, but also issues that matter to the city as a whole. The city is doing well under my leadership. We're saving money again after the Great Recession. We're restoring services, the new children's library, for instance. And crime is down under my watch. Mario says one of her top goals is to get the city using more solar power. Because we're voting for you. Oh, we are for people. People. One of those gunning for Mario's job is community activist Sharon Byrne. Working with the Milpas Community Association, Byrne helped get 10 homeless people off the street and repurpose trash cans with children's art. But Byrne says her activism started on the west side after a murder in 2009. One of the reasons you see street lights in this neighborhood now is because we worked with the mayor to get them installed because it was so dark and we had a lot of crime in the neighborhood. Byrne worked to get this mural up to cover gang graffiti and she wants to make the streets safer. If you look at our streets, you'll notice that they haven't been updated in years and yet the traffic patterns have grown significantly on an older configuration. I'm an engineer, so I like solving that kind of problem. My name is Cristina Cardoso, and I'm running for city council for the 3rd District. Cristina Cardoso may be the wild card. Her campaign is small, but she's well known in the community, having worked in the school district for 16 years. The Housing Authority employee says Latinos on the west side are underrepresented on the city council, and she wants that to change. I will go out to the community and call them in to meetings because the changes that we need to produce in the west side, they need to be involved. They need to say this is what we want, this is what we need, and here we are. They Cardoso wants more after school programs for teens and rent control. We are sending away many families who work here, who work 8, 10, 12 hours shifts and they cannot afford to live here in Santa Barbara. Voter turnout is typically low in this neighborhood, but candidates hope the switch to district elections will inspire more residents to make their voices heard. On the West Side, I'm Elise Martinez reporting.